Welcome to Copenhagen. This is the home of the Eurovision Song Contest 2014. And now on the day of the rehearsals of the Big Five, we have the big pleasure to speak to the Spanish representative who we already met in Amsterdam. It's Ruth Lorenzo. Hi, Ruth, Hola. how are you? Hola, how are you doing? <laughs> We're fantastic. And for you? Really happy. Oh my goodness. This is the best thing ever. It's and, amazing. But we, we actually were a bit worried uh, about you because we heard that you were sick. Yes, yes. I was diagnosed with um, dehydration due to exhaustion. I've been working myself too hard, but I really, I take this so seriously. I take it as if it's my own release for my own music and I would only treat it as a child. You know, I'm not a mother, but I would give my life for my music. We have seen the performance in Amsterdam when you did Dancing in the Rain. You really gave everything up. We could really see it. It's Thank amazing. you. Thank you very much. Um, how is that, that to be on the stage now here at the final of Eurovision? It feels great. It feels great to be on stage. Um, I love the production team. I love to be able to work with such an amazing, tight, hardworking production team. It's my favorite thing so far. Okay. Uh, can you maybe describe to us the stages you're going through from the dressing room onto the stage and back? It's hard because everybody's around you touching up hair, touching up makeup, touching up the dress. Um, you go into a little room where they do your in-ears and you get all ready. And then I try not to speak to anybody or think of anything and I just get into my zone and I let everything go and I get ready for for myself to enjoy on that stage, because I think that's what it is about. It's about enjoying on that stage. So far you didn't have an audience at the rehearsal, so you will have that uh, on Friday the first time. Yes, I can't wait. You know, it is already amazing to look out and see the, the big space, but when the energy, not only the people, but their energy is there, it fills you up with light, and I can't wait for that moment. Have you been able to see the, the show last night, the jury final of semi-final one? I didn't, I have to confess. I needed to go to sleep because I was so tired. And my doctor has come to make sure that I'm doing everything I'm supposed to. And so they put me to sleep at 8 o'clock. Well, that's good. I would like to go to bed as well. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea to me. Sleep. Well. <laughs> Can you maybe describe for us, we have blind listeners as well, uh, how, this, how your outfit will look like? Well, um, the dress is what I was wearing today. Um, there's still a little bit of detail to be done on it, um, but I love it. I love the symbols that it has. It has a lot of symbols, like the armor. It, it symbolizes all the hard times that I was going through when Dancing in the Rain came out, or was born as a song. And all the tail, it symbolizes water, so, and the birth of that. Amazing. Um, you have been on the stage with many, many huge artists. I was saying, Montserrat Caballé, you sang with her? No, I haven't sung with her. I was on stage with her, but I haven't okay. sung with her, yes. So how was it to meet her? Because she's one of the big opera stars of our time. She's one of my idols. Her voice, her control, her capacity. She's incredible. She was as a child, she was one, one, uh, one of my inspirations. I used to try and sing like her. So, and then you, we went to sing with a rock band, so it's a complete different direction. Yes, it is. I think that's what's made me so versatile now that I can do so many different styles. I became rebel. I was, I just wanted to scream at life, you know, and that's what I did for many years with my rock band, singing covers of ACDC and Rolling Stones. <laughs> And uh, Guns N' Roses, Bob Dylan, I used to sing every rock song I, there was. Wow. So, so could that also be then your favorite genre to sing in rock? Rock and opera are my favorite things to okay. sing. They're both as intense as each other. They're different techniques, but as intense. They're incredible. I think it would be fair to say, Ruth, that you surprised a lot of the members of the audience at the London Eurovision preview party when you sang Ness and Dorma. Thank uh, you. But there seem to be two Ruth Lorenzos, the one we knew properly yeah. and the new one that we saw for the first time that night. Yeah, but I think there's many of them in me. <laughs> See, depending on the stage, depending on the sound, I like to do different things. 
it's hard. Many producers have said to me, you're a hard artist to work on because you're so versatile. But what, what do you do? And you sing opera well, but you sing rock well, and you do this. So it's so hard to define a style. That's exactly what I want to do. I don't want to define a style. I want to be able to surprise, to create moments. That's what I love. I love to create connections with the audience. And I think it's very important when you're versatile to use those things in certain moments. And not only a versatile performer, Ruth, but of course, importantly, you're a songwriter too. Yes. And this song. Yes. I wrote Dancing in the Rain in one of my hardest moments uh, whilst I lived in London. and. It's a very special song to me. I've I had the opportunity to write with a lot of people. Um, I've written for Danny Minogue. I've written for Jeff Beck. Um, I'm penciling in November to write with Molly because oh, yes, I we love her. The press conference. Yeah, today. so we look forward to that. Thank you. Thank you. Ruth, thank you very much. Wish you all the best of luck for Spain, on, and of course for your career after Eurovision Song Contest. Thank you. And do it well for Spain. Take the trophy. I'll try my best. I'll try it. I would love to see you in Spain next year. And we'd love to be there in the yes. sunshine. Yes. <laughs> Thanks very much for Thank talking. Thank you. Mucha suerte. Gracias. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Oh.